Hi everybody, this is Jean-Charles Compagnon with the Kiwi app. Today I want to show you uh, why everybody should be using Key Markdown, one of our um, newer applications. Key Markdown is basically a, an automated markdown for the store uh, markdown. You know that on eBay, for example, uh, when you have a store, you can go to, to that store and go to the bottom right here, click manage your store. And of course it's all slow, it's going to come fairly soon. So you use this, uh, this tab here to manage your store, then you go to the markdown manager here and you can create sales. Now those sales are very, very, very not efficient. You have to go here every day, you have to create every single sale, and then you watch it run, and it ends, and you gotta remove it, and you gotta create another one, which is why most everybody don't really use it. We use it once in a while to create a sale. Well, with Key Markdown, I have created, as I'm showing in some other video, some sales that automatically put my items on sale. I want to show you for this example to show you exactly what this does for me. I want to show you this red wig sale here uh, that I'm going to edit and show you that this sale basically uh, will put my item, will create a sale every single day because it's a repeat at one day and it's one day long. It will take a percentage between 10 and 35, right now it's 25, and apply it to uh, items that are in my red wig category and that I've not had a sale for one day. And that's about it. So really the system goes and by itself will find some of the red wigs that I have on sale that I've not sold within the last day and it will put it on sale between 10 and, um, what did I have it set up, 10 and 35%. So let's look at this item here, which is a red wig in my store uh, that I have sold for. Now I run 10 day uh, listing on fixed price. So this item is four day into it. So if I go to my uh, sold to show you what happened, you will understand very quickly the power of, of key markdown and having those automated markdown. So the first sale that we got was for 1974, <coughs> which since my uh, item is at 24, where's the price in here? I can't find the price anymore. 24.99, it's right in front of me. Since this wig is at 24.99, this 1974 was obviously on sale. If we look at the date, October 13th, this was the second day that my item was listed. So the first day this item went um, listed on eBay, I didn't get any sale. The second day, it went on sale. When this happened, I got a sale right here for 1974, which is still not bad. I'm making money on this. But what this did is it um, moved this item, this red wig, directly to the top of eBay because it just had a sale. So the next thing that happened is because now it was more visible, more searchable, I got an other sale at $24.99. And because now I had two sales on uh, today, on October 16th, I got two more sales at $24.99. So really, I have a product that I sell usually, my, my average, uh, average price is $20. So I priced it at $24.99, which is above what I really should sell it for. But because Key Markdown kicked in and automatically put it on sale here, I sold one at about the price that I would have sold it if I just would have put it at $20. But then because I had the sale, it went back up to $24.99 and I made three sales with $24.99, which is $5 more than I would have normally made for it. So you can see how this is very powerful. 
Now the problem is that if you use the, the store markdown, excuse my French, but it's a pain in the rear to set up every single day. You have to go here, create a sale. It's going to be a sale for one day, set up the percentage, find out the category, go here, create it. And when it's done, you have to come back the next day and do it. Well, not really with Key Markdown, because Key Markdown, again, if I look at the sale here, will every single day create a sale starting at 4.15 Pacific Time, 4.15 PM, 16.15, and that will last one day and repeat it every single day. And it will take a percentage in between. So if I do not have a sale, it will discount my wig if I get a sale from it, then it will go back up to the maximum price and I will have more sale like this. So instead of selling four wigs at $20 or $19.99 like I would have put it before and not run a sale because it's really complete, it's really cumbersome, I guess, to go do it every single day with eBay. Instead of that, I list it at $24.99 and I let Key Markdown basically manage my sale and just put item on sales. And what it did is instead of selling four wigs at $19.99, I actually sold one for $19.74, a little bit less, but I sold three at $24.99, which is a lot more than I would have sold them. Now, another very nice thing is because uh, Key Markdown constantly put item on sale for me. If I go back uh, here and show you my store, I have items that are on sale all the time. This one is on sale, this one is on sale. eBay is having a little problem with my photos here, but I'm sure that's going to be fixed quickly. But this is on sale too. Everything goes on sale. This one is not on sale. Why is it not on sale? If I click on it, I can see that this is because I sold one for $24.99. Therefore, there's no reason to put it on sale. It sells good at this price. If there were no, um, no sales, like this one, for example, that didn't sell, then it discounts it randomly, hoping that it will generate a sale and will then create a lot of um, traction to this item by putting it higher into the eBay search engine. Now, of course, this one is on sale at $16.99 and it didn't get a sale because it was listed fairly recently. So I hope this explains to you the power of, of key markdown and why everybody should be using it. It's a little complicated, I'll give it to you. We have how-to videos like this one that I'm doing here, and it's, it's an advanced application. But once you've set it up, just like I did here, it's automated. I set this up about a month ago, and I'm not touching it, and it just runs by itself. Puts item on sales, on sale for me with the Markdown Manager, and I don't have to worry about it anymore. So I hope this will help some of you. Uh, you can find our application in the eBay App Center or you can go to keymarkdown.kiou-apps.com and you can actually see the URL right here. I hope uh, this will again help some of you and feel free to uh, go down and ask us uh, some question, like us, post some, com some comments, uh, and contact us if you have any question. We're here to help you. Thank you.